Hey folks, Angelique Wiley here and today's video training is about proper bookkeeping for your business. Now are you one of those types of people that just chucks all your receipt in a box like a shoebox and at the end of the year you're all done collecting all your receipts and January comes around and you go to meet with your tax accountant and you take this box and you walk into his office and you're just like here you go here's the box and you dump it out on his desk and he's looking at you like are you serious right now is this is this really happening right now you won't this is how you organize your business yeah so that's probably not the right way or the most effective and efficient way to keep booking bookkeeping for your business so I'm gonna just tell you some tips and obviously you can continue to keep doing what you want but there's a lot of programs out there to help you with proper bookkeeping and I'm here to help you get set up so first of all you've got all these receipts all these expenses you've got um, possibly rent for an office or a retail space you've got uh, utilities that you may be paying for office supplies as you buy them packaging supplies other supplies for your business that you're dealing with you got payroll uh, taxes all those types of things it is a-okay to you know print off all of those invoices all of those receipts and um, keep them in a pile now there is a program out there and there's actually a amazing uh, receipt generator that actually scans in your receipts and it will auto file those receipts by tax court category uh, for you it's called neat receipts now I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that before on the market but neat receipts is comes with a little scanner you can buy the little one it's probably around hundred and fifty dollars and then you get the program with it or you can buy the big scanner which also scans in business cards and PDF files and stuff like that for your business I have that one actually um, that one's about three fifty four hundred dollars and you can spend the time or have your assistant spend the time to scan all those receipts in probably weekly so that it keeps caught up and this program will look at what type of receipt was it was it a restaurant was it gas um, gas station uh, it was it an office supply place and then it will categorize that expense in that category automatically in the neat receipt program the other great thing about it is is it separates out your tax from your net to what your what you gross paid on that expense um, so if you're writing off sales tax also on your taxes um, because you do uh, itemized deductions on your taxes you can also write off your sales tax as an itemized deduction it'll do that for you so it's it's a great program it helps you keep organized you can then just stuff all of those in a box or an envelope and you're done with them because now they're scanned into your computer the program has them it saves it for years and years to come um, it also has a cloud so if you don't have enough storage space on your computer it'll save it to the neat cloud um, you can pay for storage monthly with that and it's it's a pretty awesome program also there are other scanning options I mean you can just buy a scanner scan all these receipts in um, you can keep an Excel spreadsheet for your expenses as well uh, I suggest doing columns like date of purchase store that you purchased it at what type of um, expense was it was it gas was it travel was it uh, meals was it office supplies that type of thing um, because obviously if you have your business set up I'm sure you have finances set up in your business you've got general ledger you've got um, you know your accounts that you put expenses into and your general ledger codes that you would code all your expenses to uh, neat receipts can do that for you if you plug in the codes into neat receipts if you are doing it via Excel you can then code each one of your expenses that way by your general ledger codes uh, so different things that you can do I mean it, and if you have an assistant to do this great 
You could hire a temporary assistant for a week every six months to do this for you. Um, you can hire an accounting firm to do it for you. Just keeping organized throughout the year is being proactive and it helps you at the end of the year not be scrambling for all your receipts, trying to put everything together for your accountant. That gets to be pretty hectic. Um, another thing is I feel that so many businesses out there are missing write-offs. You went and you bought a desk today for your office and you misplaced the receipt or you threw it away by accident. You just missed a write-off for your tax return. Um, if receipts aren't very important to you to collect, uh, you can easily throw them away and then you're missing write-offs. So you have all this income coming into your business and then unfortunately you don't have all these receipts saved on a day-to-day -day basis to add up to go against that income. And I think that a lot of times businesses pay way too much on their tax returns because they keep forgetting that you've got all these expenses to your business to write off against that income and you know unfortunately you're missing out and I mean everybody you know okay so I threw away a receipt for lunch today I took a client out for lunch today I threw this receipt away oh yippee you know it's not a big deal it's I'm not gonna get a ton of tax money back but if you keep doing that once a week, a $50 lunch, once a week times 52 weeks, that's a big write-off that you're missing there on your tax return. Money adds up. Two bucks here, five bucks here, 50 bucks here. You think about it. So what I did in my business was I made, I made a con conscious decision to keep every receipt of everything I buy no matter if it's for my personal life or for my business life. What I do with those receipts then is I log into my credit card accounts, or my bank account, and I then match it up with the charge on my credit card. That way I know if I was charged correctly on my credit card. And you're probably thinking, gosh, that's too much work. Well, if I do it once a week, it really isn't a lot of work. And I have caught mischarges as well. so. It really has helped me. Then what I do at the end of doing that, I will then take all those receipts and I'll split them up. These ones are for business. These are a personal. I can throw the personal ones away or, or I can scan them in for my sales tax, tax deduction on my um, itemized Schedule A. Or um, I can just throw them out and keep all my business ones and scan those in. So you could do it. You can do whatever you want to do but just become habitual about saving all your receipts for everything and at the end of the week or the end of the month you or your administrative assistant can separate them out which ones are expense which ones were personal throw away the personal whatever you want to do but getting into um, a habit of it and keeping spreadsheets of your income, keeping spreadsheets of your expenses, um, keeping spreadsheets of your write-offs, any um, medical bills that you paid out of pocket, those types of things. Anything that would be on um, any of your schedules for your business income and expenses, for your personal income and expenses will help you out. Keep you organized. Start getting organized with your life you will not believe how much easier it is to run your business if you are organized become a good bookkeeper I know it probably isn't your expertise hire attempt to do it a couple hours a month figure out how to do it it will be much easier for you at the end of the year with your accountant when you sit one-on-one -on -one and go over your tax returns and you'll get every penny back that you deserve on your tax returns so go out there, start getting organized, start having proper bookkeeping, and you'll see that it'll make a big difference in your life. This is Angelique signing off. Have a great day.